or quadcities.com update. Good morning. It's 825. Thanks for watching. I'm Sierra Krug with your rquadcities.com update. Illinois state senators returned to action on Tuesday, beginning a condensed calendar due to the June primary. Democrats were eager to remove costly barriers for health care workers and to promote Governor Pritzker's tax breaks, while Republicans look to slow his pandemic powers. Both the House and Senate have to meet deadlines to start advancing their bills next week. During a news conference on Tuesday, Governor Pritzker hinted at announcing his plans for dropping the mask mandate. He stopped short of giving the public a goal that we could watch and work toward. Reporters pressed the governor for specifics. He would only say, you have to wait. I really believe that you know we ought to be looking seriously at how to ratchet that back. Um, I think we're going to be making announcements very soon about that. We got to be very careful about how we remove those mask mandates and also uh, making sure that the schools are doing what's responsible. Pritzker seemed to leave open the idea mask mandates could stay in place for schools, regardless of any decision to drop masking rules in other indoor settings. The governor is appealing a temporary restraining order that allows thousands of kids to show up to school without a mask. House Republican leader Jim Durkin wrote the governor an open letter saying Pritzker's top-down strategy caused chaos. This echoes Pritzker's criticism of the restraining order ruling. A man from Dubuque reached a plea deal with prosecutors in connection with a deadly collision almost two years ago. Julius Jones pleaded guilty to a felony charge of driving with a revoked license. It stems from a crash in June of 2020 on Highway 20 West in Stockton, Illinois. The passenger with Jones was killed. The 33-year-old was sentenced to two years in prison as part of the plea agreement. Deere and Company now has a majority of the Chrysler Electric ownership. Chrysler is a battery technology company in Austria. The deal announced in December is now complete. Deere and Company has seen demand grow for battery-powered equipment. The company plans to keep investing in and developing technology for a zero emissions future. That is a look at your local news. Now here is Zane with your local pinpoint forecast. Hi Sierra, happy Wednesday morning everybody. We're starting off today with more clouds outside, but our temperatures are actually in pretty good shape here for this time of year, this time of day. 35 degrees right now, and we've got wind chills only in the 20s here in the Quad Cities, and that's the case in most spots here across eastern Iowa and northwest Illinois. There's those clouds though, those have been spreading south, northwest to southeast through the morning, not really working with any precipitation though. That will change, it looks like, those we had towards the afternoon. We're now thinking that we might see a couple spotty snowflakes or raindrops here as we head from about lunchtime through the second half of today. Not widespread and probably not really heavy, but at least a little bit of some moisture is possible to make it down to the ground level. And we'll wrap that up here and get dry back out as we head towards tonight. We'll just cool off a little bit more. Today will be a little bit cooler than yesterday. Instead of the 50s, we're looking at highs in the lower 40s here this afternoon. We'll eventually drop down to about 20 later tonight. A little bit of a breeze coming in from the north and west. We're occasionally 10 to 20 miles per hour. That'll eventually drop our temperatures down to highs in the 30s for your Thursday with some sunshine though. And then the next system that'll bring us probably a better shot honestly of a little bit of rain and snow comes late tomorrow night and into early on Friday. Still not much in the way of accumulation. 40s on Friday will drop into the 20s Saturday. We'll continue to bounce up and down into next week.